For this week's Sports Star Spotlight, we're talking about big names on defense. The Bosa brothers, Joey and Nick, have certainly lived up to the hype that comes with being five-star prospects. Joey is now a four-time Pro Bowler with the Chargers, and after Nick missed almost all of 2020 with a knee injury, he bounced back in 2021 to make his second Pro Bowl. They were both All-Americans at St. Thomas Aquinas High School in Florida. We met them in 2012 when Joey was a senior and Nick was a freshman. Basically, football is my life. I really can't think of anything outside of what I would do if I wasn't a football player. His length, his strength, uh, explosive. Uh, we run a 3-4 scheme. He can play pretty much across the board. Uh, tackle knows our end, which is uh, sometimes you're in a 1, sometimes you're in a 3, sometimes you're in a 5, sometimes you're in a 7, and he can play them all. Three years later, we returned to Aquinas before Nick's senior season. We were always close. Um, but he was always a bully. <laughs> we had our good times and then we had our times where we hated each other for a long time. But then once we grew up and once he actually, once I started to play, play with him and go to school with him, that's when we really became close. As a dad, I'm, I'm truly blessed to have sons that are uh, you know, really close and, and our best friends. I think that's a wonderful blessing and it's really a great thing. They, they went through the, the normal Things, you know, big brother picking on the little brother kind of thing. But I think football brought them together. And, and certainly, you know, the one year sharing uh, the field here at St. Thomas was fantastic. And, and it's just, you know, as they've both thrived, um, Joe's been a great help to Nick. And, and they've just really, really become close. The journey has taken both players from South Florida to Columbus, Ohio, to California. And now the brothers dream of both being NFL players is a reality. Now entering his sixth NFL season, the Browns' Miles Garrett has established himself as one of the best edge rushers in football. He was third in the NFL last season with 16 sacks. He made his third Pro Bowl, and he was first-team All-Pro for the second consecutive year. Garrett played his high school ball at Martin High School in Arlington, Texas. He was the number two overall prospect in the 2014 class. They don't mean much. I mean, it's just ratings. I mean, can't really quantify what a guy's done on the field. Uh, I mean, he could be doing, you know, blocking, kicking, hitting, it doesn't matter. I mean, as long as you win, I mean, that's the point. Your, your point is to win and have fun, and that's all I'm worried about. I mean, rankings don't matter. They can go out the window. I just love playing the game and having fun with my teammates. Miles' first time really to have an opportunity to compete on a national stage was at the Under Armour All-America game. And uh, obviously I'm a little biased, but I, I thought he was the best player in the game and certainly the best big man in the game. Garrett will again team with another former five-star prospect as Jadevian Clowney is returning to Cleveland for a second season. Clowney was the number one prospect in the 2011 class when he played at South Point High School in South Carolina. Jadevian Clowney is, is I, I, I'm not going to badmouth any of the ones that prior to him, but. Uh, he's in a class of his own because the thing that makes J.D. stand out so much is he's 6'6", a little over 6'6". He weighs about 245 pounds. He runs a 4.49.40. He, uh, he's got a 36-inch vertical jump. He power claims 300 pounds. And uh, he's just a, an all-around good kid. And, you know, barring any serious injury and, you know, if everything goes well, I think one day he's got a bright future in college and, and in the NFL. After a breakout rookie year, Chase Young's second NFL season was slowed by injuries as he only played in nine games. The Washington Commanders, as they are now known, are hoping Chase bounces back in 2022 and replicates his rookie numbers when he had seven and a half sacks in 15 games and helped the team reach the playoffs. It's a special thrill for Chase to play close to home as he was an All-American at DeMatha Catholic High School in Hyattsville, Maryland. There, he was always praised for not only his talent, but also his leadership. That's what I always wanted to do. You know, I always wanted to lead my team, and uh, it's just the perfect spot for me because I like taking charge. He's definitely um, one of the best we, we've had. Uh, you know, he, he does it by his, his play. Uh, when it's time for him to, to talk about it, he, he definitely does that. And then the guys follow him, you know, and, and you, you need that in order to have a successful team. And we're excited that Chase has um, embraced that role. He is um, a physically imposing defensive end. You know, it's very hard uh, for high school guys to, to block him with his length. Um, he's able to
able to get his hands on guys and, and beat them up the field uh, with his speed. He, he has um, a lot of versatility with with his moves. So um, he's a very gifted athlete. He can go on the offensive side of the ball, catch the football for us. Uh, so you're talking about uh, an exceptional athlete and a heck of a competitor. Believe it or not, his parents have had a feeling their son would be a major prospect since he was very young. Started about three or four years old. I realized early on he was an aggressive kid. And I tell people at about the age of five, I knew that I would never pay for college. And people were like, how could you say that? I said he was aggressive. And as the years went on, he stayed aggressive. It's just overwhelming. It's very exciting. I won't say it's unbelievable because I do believe it. He works really hard. 110% every play. I always give an effort. I'm going to do my assignment. I'm going to get my job done. You know, they always say, you're a man on the field and things like that. And uh, I think being a man is getting a job done every place. Anytime you, you can have a kid who's as noticeable and as popular as he is and is able to stay grounded, um, not be a disruption in the classroom, get, get good grades and still be a, a standout player, uh, that, that's what you want out of, a, out of a student athlete and Chase brings that to the table. You come in the weight room every day, you look on that wall and you know, sometimes you might not feel like working out, but you ask yourself, if they, if they can do it every day and push themselves to the limit every day, then why can't I? Sky's the limit. No matter where he goes, uh, he, he's going to compete at a high level. Um, he's going to stay grounded. He's going to outwork the, the next guy, and um, the cream rises to the top. So um, wherever he ends up, he's going to be successful, and uh, we're, we're proud that uh, he's, he's a DeMatha stag. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.